Okay, let's get back to it. Uh, if it, if it's lagging, then you know. Very close now. I'm uploading a video, I was so. Wondering when you'd speak okay. Up. There's a sheer rock wall just ahead. Look close, and you'll find handholds leading up. Oh really? And who put those there? Who? Right. Why would I expect an answer? It's so much more exciting to keep it all a mystery. Crash the Eclipse Focus Network, he said. So how are we gonna do that? Oh. Hey man, what you got? Honestly, I should get wire, like literally stock up, cause. That's the thing we, we need the most. Forgot. We won't. I do all the dangerous stuff. You just listen in. What did she say? Brother's just chatting, dude. Okay, okay, I can't climb it. the handholds, right where you'd said they'd be. Did you get that silence? No? Fitting name you got there. Oh, right there. Alright, what now? You wait, that's what. Take a seat at the campfire and rest. What night falls, we'll talk. At least I'll have a fire to keep me company. How nice of you to finally drop by. Our purpose this night is to crash the focus network. Yeah, tell me the part I don't know. How? For starters, you'll need to infiltrate the Eclipse's main base. Wait, what? That's right. Fortunately for you, I brought you around to the back way. It's right through that crevice. Once you reach the base, you'll see the objective. A derelict tall neck that's been extensively modified. Climb the tall neck. Grafted into the top of its disc, you'll find a module of sorts. Destroy that, and the focus network will crash. So you were part of the Eclipse? I've never been part of anything. I serve my own interests always. But it is the case that I assisted the Eclipse before I sensed the threat they might become. It was a mistake that I'm doing what Yo, I can to what is this angle? What sort of assistance did you give them? Head through that crevice, Aloy. You have more important things to do than ask questions. <laughs> Yo, chill. It's all right, man. Let's see what's through here. Collected machines. Patrolling the guards. Small like soldiers. Held in reserve for war to come here. You have to get past them. Get easy, way in. The back way. I didn't say it'd be easy. I'm just skedaddle.
Salute. Wait, what? Oh, right here. Not bad. Oh, right there.
Come on, dude. Born in the tree, what the fuck? Here we go again. Just over this ridge. Now be ready to act fast. You need to get in and get it done before they raise an alarm. Legs of a tall neck down there, but no tall neck. Damn. The transmit has been moved. Check down the ravine to the left. Only place it could be. So much for your insider knowledge. Toward the explosions. Great. You got exactly one shot at this Aloy, so spare the sarcasm and make it count. You see that bridge over the ravine? Yep. Memorize its location. There's a rappel point on the side. That'll be your way out. And these Eclipse Troopers? Avoid them, or kill them, your choice. The blasting should cover any noise you make. Find the Tall Neck and destroy the module on top. Here we go. Oh, so I could go loud. Hey, what? Fighting up ahead? No. It's a binding operation. So long as you're quick, it won't affect you. Oh good, another secret. This place. 
several data points. Jesus. This armor. There's only one man big enough to wear this. Helis. This is his shelter. Not exactly fancy. What would you expect of a fanatic? His only extravagance is his brutality. So you know him? Just enough to want to stop him. Wait, what? He's a fanatic, all right. Single-minded. It gives him a focus that you seem to lack. Now, how about finding that tornick? Structure around it. Climb it. The sooner this is done, the better. I don't like this. It feels wrong. Everything here is wrong. Just get to the module and destroy it. Including him? Hmm? Interesting. All oh, these guys. I see the module. Good. Now be quick. Time. It's a metal devil. Open the module's casing now. Aloy, do as I say or all is lost.
so we met the the main dude the main robot boss i guess rough going but you survived you knew hades was there and you sent me to him i won't deny i risked your life but it was the only way was now, it with the focus network down we can both get what we want access to the secrets of zero dawn i'm past trusting you with secrets good that means you're wising up trust is for fools it shifts and crumbles like sand a poor foundation for any partnership but mutual self-interest now that is a solid bedrock upon which you and i might build a new science of understanding we both need answers aloy and thanks to you, we're on the verge of grasping them. It's unfold. We'll speak again. You okay. miserable. Damn him. <laughs> Why is it always across the entire map? If I could toss this focus and be rid of you, Simons, I would. I'm gonna fast travel. Fuck that. We're not going all the way over there. Um, fuck it. Might as well start here. The Mad King Duran's summer palace. A bulwark of Karja might against the howling Forbidden West. Thanks for the history lesson. But they have no idea what lies beneath. We will learn much from this, Aloy. That's what I'm hoping. What the fuck? It's gotta be merch, yeah. Huh. Only the finest goods here. See for yourself. Damn, I barely have anything. Would you like to buy something today? There we go. I wonder how close we are to the, the game ending. Ah, new monsters. The sun. Now we get to see if your attack on their focus network was entirely successful. Success. Welcome to the Citadel, Aloy. I'll check back with you in a moment. Outlander. In the meantime, if you want to hear about today's bounties, head for the throne room. You're not going to make any shards by standing out here. <laughs> I'll take the shards, even if it means having to listen to Bahavas. I hear the shadow count. Yo, kind of looks like um, we're gonna oh, fight well. these guys. By the glory of the sun revealed. Behold, radiant Edaman, the one true sun king, the light in shadow, whose will is light and whose light is law. Again. I command Lucian Bahavas to speak in my behalf. By the will of Radiant Edaman does the sun glare down mercilessly upon the traitor Uthid. To the hunter who brings his head to us shall go a bounty of 500 shards. More prisoners than royalty, don't you think? Hmm. Love your hair. Not only did the wretch conspire to you and I need to chat, little Huntress. The green tent king, down in Shadowside. I'll be waiting. Kind of busy. And in doing so, demonstrated wanton disregard for the safety We both know you're no killer for hire. Uthid is innocent. 
So come see me, while there's still time to save him. So, the way in I spoke of is right behind you. You've got to be kidding. Not at all. And you needn't worry about the Kestrels. They'll be too busy acting important to pay attention to you. First time in the Citadel, gotta see the sun ring from on high. For the Kestrels. This is insane. Ah, they want us to see this, boy. They're going it to see me. Quite an impression. The balustrade. It's a short drop from there. Hey, man. Oh, so I'm going to fight one of them. The other side of the tower. Look for a vent. I say you've been here before. Obviously. Now, it's very important that you hear what I'm about to say. There you cut I've off. I've shown you the way in, but this humble vent marks a point of no return. Before you descend to the depths here, you should be fully committed, equipped, and focused. No distractions. Mm. If you have errands to run, do them first or hold your peace. I won't tolerate whining. Is that clear? You'll tolerate what I give you, Silence. I didn't ask you along for the ride. Oh, this kind of sounds like the end of the game, dude. That's usually what they do. What's there? I'm heading down. I've spent a lifetime trying to uncover the secrets of this world. Where the machines came from. How the old ones achieved such marvels only to fall into silence and death. A lifetime of failure. As year by year, decade after decade, I hit walls I could not break, doors oh. I could never breach. Hello. Until a Nora Huntress marched out of the savage east. And voila. For her, all the deepest secrets of the earth were laid bare. I suspect you will have an easier time with this door than I did years ago. There we go. Oh, for identity scan. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Malfunction. 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 Are you kidding me? You don't hear me laughing. Shut up. There's gotta be another way. Hey! Elizabeth Sobek here! Requesting access! Access request acknowledged. Root command functions available. Do you wish to proceed? I do! Get me through this door! Analyzing. Primary access inoperable due to mechanical failure. Emergency venting procedure likely to circumvent blockage. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. Emergency venting authorized. everything that will draw attention we won't have this place to ourselves for long now <laughs> we last i checked i was the one whisking my life down here yes fine now will you please get moving there's so much to learn in less time than i'd hoped okay welcome to project zero dawn zero dawn we found it are you really so surprised Facility diagnostics detect multiple failures. Attempting repair. So, what was this room? An entrance hall, perhaps. Have a look around. Oh, mushrooms. Please take a seat and wait for your name to be. Please proceed into viewing room one. For an important message. What was this place? A holographic theater. CD01 data intact. Initiating playback. Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. I am General Harris, 
chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the oh, United States John of America. Kennedy. I'm sure you've heard the rumors. The Zero Dawn is a top secret super weapons program. The technological miracle that will save us from the Pharaoh Plague. If Operation Enduring Victory can hold off the robots long enough. The reason I'm sure you've heard the rumors is that I'm the one who spread them. And they are all lies. Zero Dawn is not a super weapons program. And it will not save us. Nothing will save us. Here's why. By the time the glitch was noticed, it was already too late. Nothing could stop the Pharaoh plague. Nothing can. Its robots will continue to replicate and devour the biosphere. Life on Earth will be destroyed. Our planet reduced to a barren sphere. Global extinction is inevitable. No matter how many we kill, the robots just keep exponentially making more. If we had their deactivation codes, we could shut them all down. The entire swarm. But since their cryptographic protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms, cracking a code set would take half a century. At best, we've got 16 months. Not exactly what you'd call a survival option. The destruction of a biosphere is not the sort of apocalypse you can wait out in a fallout shelter or a space station. There will be no Earth left to reclaim. Just a lifeless, toxic rock with several million pharaoh robots on it, hibernating. Waiting for something to eat. This is the horrible truth behind the lies of Operation Enduring Victory. My lies. Lies designed to inspire millions of innocents to sacrifice themselves in battle. That's hopeless. Why? One reason. To buy time for you and the work you will do here. Zero day. The day that life on Earth ceases to exist is coming fast. It cannot be stopped. The hope of Zero Dawn is that something new might come after. But I will leave it to Elizabeth Sobek to shine that thin ray of light into the darkness. Harris. That doesn't make sense. Life on Earth didn't cease to exist. He said it could not be stopped. But it was. Somehow, somehow Elizabeth saved us. I've, I've got to keep looking. Find out how she did it. They got in through the vents. Let nothing stop you from learning the truth. Spread out! What? If it moves, kill it! What is this place? A tomb? Too close. I'm done! <laughs> This guy's are strong. Life could 
blossom anew. This is the aim, the hope, of Project Zero Dawn. To create a super intelligent, fully automated terraforming system and bring life back from lifelessness. What would such a system require? At its core, it would need a true AI, fully capable of making the trillions of decisions necessary to reconstitute the biosphere. An immortal guardian, devoted to the reflourishing of life. I feel like a real robot. We call it Gaia. Mother Nature as an AI. But that's just the core of the system. She will need to be surrounded and empowered by a comprehensive suite of subordinate functions. Think of them her. as extensions of Gaia's mind, each dedicated to a specific purpose. Now these aren't AIs, but make no mistake, each presents an engineering challenge more profound than anything the human species has ever before attempted. Hardware that preserves and then gestates the billions of seeds and embryos from which life will be reborn. The construction of underground facilities to hold it all. And that's just the start. We don't have to build the entire system. The beauty of a fully automated terraforming system Poseidon. is that it can build itself. Now over the days to come, you'll learn how all these functions, all these pieces that you'll be working on, fit together. How we'll race the clock to execute our harvest initiatives, write the software, build the tech and the facilities. How we'll lock it down and seal it up before the inevitable occurs. But even more important, you'll know how it doesn't end here. How Gaia will generate those deactivation codes General Harris talked about. And build the transmission arrays to broadcast them, shutting down the feral robots for good. How Gaia will not just build, but imagine any conceivable robot it needs to do its work across centuries. The deers. Oh, no, he's... From detoxifying the Earth's ravaged atmosphere and poisoned seas to the regreening of the Earth from cryopreserved seed stocks to rewilding the Earth with animal life and then, when all that is done how a new generation of human beings spawned at cradle facilities around the globe will partake of Apollo the vast archive of human knowledge and cultural achievement from which they will learn of us our world and most important, how not to repeat our mistakes. It's not an impossible dream. It is within our grasp if we work tirelessly and stop at nothing to achieve it. We can't stop life from ending. But if you will help me, help Gaia, we can give it a future. Join me and help make that future real. Destroyed, but then remade. Yes, by a machine, a machine of creation. Elizabeth did this for life, for us. But why Hades then? If it was part of Gaia, how did it end up in the wreckage of a pharaoh robot? Intruder, get her! Why Whatever you do, me? don't die now. Apollo, the archive of knowledge, what happened to that? I'm as confused as you are. Maybe the answers lie ahead. go now those lame FBI black hats at Mockingbird back in the day I enjoyed schooling them 
but maybe I went in too hard on this poor counselor. She was cute, and just going down a checklist after all. Couldn't expect her to see how ridiculous Zero D's ambitions are. God's own budget thrown at a kid playing with a hologram sculptor? Palms up, honey. I'm just calling it like it is. Hey, look, Mom, I'm making this. Oh, man. Looks with me. Yeah, where are we going? Here we go. Another one of these. We need to find the right configuration. Oh my god. There's a part missing. Maybe there's a storage area nearby. Oh my god, of course. What are we doing? Should check the door nearby. <laughs> Found one. Looks intact. Ooh. Hell yeah. Should do the trick. Okay, the up, left, down. Oh my god. Up, left, down, right, up, right, up, right, up. Wait, what? Up, left, down, right. Up. Up, left, down, right, up. Glasses upside down. Up, right, down, left. Up. What? managed to install an H emitter node backwards. Everything's in reverse. I don't get paid to clean up Brett's messes. If you want it fixed, send him up to storage for a new emitter, not me. Parker out. Oh my god. This game, dude. Literally... They made it so... I could waste time. That did oh it. my god. Or should have power. Now to see what lies beyond it. Should give me the upper hand. They're here. Avoid contact. Lines look good. Gaia, 
It's up there. Second floor. Can you reach it? <sighs> so much for avoiding contact. Hmm. moment anyway but get moving you have to find Gaia find a use for you okay let's go hello I'm Marcus hello I'm Margot Shen and this is Hephaestus as the name might tip you off this is going to be the subordinate function that Gaia will use to make lots and lots of robots. Her personal forge. Except, it's not that simple. Um, so like, you probably noticed that only about a third of you are robotics engineers. The rest, experts in machine cognition, virtual heuristics, that stuff. Well, that's because we aren't going to be the ones designing and building robots. The last thing we want is to burden Gaia with a bunch of outmoded 21st century designs. A waste of time. Our purpose is to empower Gaia to build the robots. And not just build, imagine, from scratch. 
Any robot she needs for any conceivable purpose, designed and fabricated at a snap of a finger. Hers. Her finger. So, Hephaestus isn't really the forge. It's more like the knowledge of craft and ingenuity of a master smith to wield the hammer. Encoded as software. Virtual creativity made real. Guy's already learning. In simulation, okay. she's doing some very creative things with fractal assembly and animal morphologies. Oh my god. Wait, what? Where are we? All of we? Oh my god. Can't carry more. I think this is it. Elizabeth Sobek's office. But it, it's sealed off. There's more eclipse. Careful now. Hmm. Welcome to Apollo, the collective memory of the human species and the wellspring of knowledge for future generations. I am Samina Ebaji. Until recently, I was director of the International Collective Memory Institute in New Tehran. As a heritage professional, I devoted my career to the preservation of human knowledge, creative endeavor, and cultural achievement. Apollo is the... the ultimate embodiment of a lifelong passion, albeit under the very worst circumstances imaginable. The challenges before us are immense. Specifically, we will have to design and implement four major initiatives simultaneously. First, the construction of data repositories in cradle facilities oh around God. the world ensuring redundancy. Sorry to spot the collection and processing of a projected 180 the last of them. Alone once more. What should have been a cave of wonders. Look around. See if anything is left. Yo, there's like a, a shit ton of items. Ninety three? Golly. Dr. Sobek, please archive this testimonial in Apollo. Cross reference to all mentions of my name and Operation Enduring Victory. My name is General Aaron Harris. From 2060 to 2066, I served as the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of State. 
My name is General Aaron Harris. From 2060 to 2066, I served as the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, the highest ranked officer of the United States Armed Forces. Welcome to Eleuthia, the crown and king of Gaia's subordinate functions. So it is by Eleuthia that the human race will continue to exist. Freedom facilities. Elizabeth said a, a new generation of humans would be spawned inside such places. She did. Oh, Mother Mountain. It was one of them? There's only one way to be sure. The hatch wouldn't open. Something, something about a corrupted alpha registry. I need to search Elizabeth. Pure office. logic won't cut it, Ted. To pull this off, Gaia's going to need to have some skin in the game. It has to care. Butter on the mark. Have we learned nothing? That's what benefit from antilopony morphologies. Low capric forms show superior low bearing mm -hmm. capability. You're a quick study, Gaia. Don't be so bad. As I have to go through a heritage analysis of mammalia morphologies, I've gathered extensive data on the quaternary extinction event. Oh? And your assessment? Gaia? Logically speaking, the extinction was a natural consequence. And yet... And yet... I find the loss of megafaunal species... unaccountably sad. That they passed forever into oblivion... causes me to experience... a grief... that is difficult to describe. Am I malfunctioning? No, no, Gaia, you're not. This is good. It's very good. Okay, huh? You will undergo a brief period of unconsciousness during relocation to Prime and final statement. Elizabeth, may I speak outside protocol? When you're back up and running at the new site, we'll bring the subordinate functions online and see where we stand. Elizabeth, I detect distress. Are you all right? I'm fine. I realize that circumstances compel us to launch earlier than we hoped, but all subsystems are operational. The odds stand in our favor. But what if... Guy, there's nothing left out there. You can't even survive unless you're wearing an environmental suit. There are billions dead in fear and agony. What if... What if it was all for nothing? Elizabeth, extinction was inevitable. Thanks to you, life will have a future. You really believe that? I believe in you, Elizabeth. In you, all things... Hmm. We're getting answers. Odyssey has fell. No cutscene? Probably going to need it. The Alpha Registry Master File. Intact? Yeah. No signs of corruption. Then what are you waiting for? Copy the file. With this, I can restore the registry at the hatch inside All Mother. Open it. Go inside. <clears throat> and grasp the secrets within. Where I was born. Maybe. Maybe who gave birth to me. Who? Are you really so naive? There will be no who waiting for you there, Aloy. Whatever birthed you into the world was a what, not a who. You bastard. Oh no, I had a legitimate birth. It's you, Aloy, who are the creation of a machine. But what kind of machine and why? Why were you created? the fuck is that? Eclipse. You oh. need to get out of there. What you found is too valuable. You're too valuable. So I am a machine. And Gaia? This is what created me. Still 
alive. Good. I have a more suitable death in mind for you, child. <laughs> So that explains why people are worshipping the door. My entire life, I've always known one thing with prophetic certainty. That I was destined for glory as a great champion of the sun. Even when Joran was murdered, even when Meridian fell, I never doubted my destiny. Until you came along. When I heard that you had survived a doubt took root in my mind as sure as the sun rises and falls each day those i am bade to kill die and yet i failed how why with each dig site you attacked each loyal soldier you killed this pestering doubt grew i kept thinking of the moment my knife pierced your throat one twist, a simple tug of the blade, and you would have bled out. In slaughter, I am a practiced hand. So why hesitate? Why fail my destined purpose? <laughs> Rose? I guess even a monster like you can have a glimmer of conscience. You didn't kill me right away. Turn your face to the sun, child. Dressing up murder as religious sacrifice so you could feel better about it? No. I never doubted the righteousness of killing you. And yet, your words touch close to the truth. In my heart, I deemed the order to kill you unworthy of me. You were just a savage girl. So I thought at the time. Even still, I aimed to kill you, and yet did not. This failing troubled my thoughts, haunted every step. It was only when I captured you, down in that place, that I finally glimpsed the sun's design etched at length across the course of events. You were meant to survive that day on the mountain. Meant to interfere at dig sites and kill my men. Conversely, I was meant to capture you. Here. So that you might die as a sacrificial offering to the sun. Everything as it was meant to be. Predestined and preordained. Some destiny. You're following orders, not some grand cosmic design. You're a puppet, with Hades yanking the strings, a pawn pushed around by larger forces. It'd be laughable if there weren't so much killing involved. Hades is an ancient machine, not the buried shadow of Karja myth. It doesn't care about Meridian. It wants to kill everything and everyone. And you are its dutiful slave. I serve not the buried shadow, but the sun in shadow. All halves of nature join to one cause. What is he even talking about? Shadow to sun, dark to light. Do you really not hear how ridiculous that sounds? You've gone from serving an insane homicidal sun king to an insane homicidal machine. You're moving down in the world, not up. I'll remember those words as I watch your corpse burn. Whatever's left of it. You fail to grasp the point. As surely as you've been conquered, so has all doubt. And with certainty of belief comes unstoppable force. Then you just cage and put your faith to the test. See if things work out like you expect. The circle has closed. Every element is in its proper place, exactly where it belongs. 
The errant beast, now caged, will serve her true purpose. A sacrificial animal. Oh, speaking of sacrifice, I forgot to tell you. After you crash the Eclipse Network, I sent messengers into the East. To rally the forces there and mount an invasion of the <coughs> sacred land. I ordered every Nora killed. I was hoping to catch you there, but alas, it all seems to have been unnecessary. Needless slaughter, they're irrelevant. Yeah, I mean, I could really give less fucks about them. Why butcher dozens of innocents for no gain? It's a waste of effort. You're right. I won't even be there to enjoy it. In any case, I couldn't recall the order even if I wished to. Thanks to your destruction of the network, communication over distances is impossible. You not only doomed yourself, but an entire tribe. Do we not see the scorching judgment of the sun in these events? Your focus, such a powerful device, isn't it? And yet, so fragile. <clears throat> So you see, this time, I did not hesitate. The knife has already been twisted. Oh, he has one too. I knew it. Are faithful. Rejoice! Our years in shadow are over. A new dawn trembles on the horizon. A new day soon to break. And when it does, the false Sun King will be dead. And Holy Meridian ours once more. In this, I have become an instrument of prophecy. All halves of nature join to one cause. Shadow to sun, light to dark, night to day. Behold! Okay. Hold your seats! Can you not see the proof of the sun's blessing before your eyes? How else? Beast, prowl in broad light of day. Were they not approved by the sun and joined to our cause? Many years ago, to consecrate this great ring, the radiant Juran ordered many faithless crushed beneath the hooves of the behemoth. Mighty is the behemoth in the eye of the sun, but it is mightier still in view of the power. Let this one, who schemed and slithered, be the first to die! Let her be the first of thousands! What? what? Something's gotta happen here. Oh my god. I that thing without weapons. Oh, my weapons are up on the platform. There's no way out of this way. Maybe I could use the strength against it.
Here he comes. Oh, okay. That did it. One more pillar and that platform will come down. And my weapon's worth it. Jesus. Gotta get out of the way. He's going to charge. Oh, you're such a fucking bitch. It's in the charge again. Game time.
Just them? Honestly, I was more scared with the rhino. Kill her! Why leave it to them? Come get me yourself! There we go. What's that? The Norris? That's not Norris. Oh! I do. Silence. Dude, I was ready to kill both of them. So you're here. Really here. You risked your life. Of course I did. If you'd been killed, the Nora Sacred Mountain would never have given up its secrets. Too bad you wasted your time then. Helis destroyed my focus. And the Alpha Registry with it. Not at all. The whole time I've been monitoring your focus, I've duplicated every data file you scanned. Installing that data to a new focus was trivially easy. Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. You're really good at making it impossible to like you, Silence. <laughs> but I guess I need this. It's time to see where you were born. Maybe you'll even learn why. Yeah. Meet the machine that birthed me into this world. Isn't that how you put it? I'll be off. Wait. Yes? I'll be on my way. To make matters worse, Helis ordered an Eclipse detachment to attack the Nora Sacred Land. The tribe's already weak. They won't stand a chance. You should come with me. Well, absolutely not. I have preparations to make elsewhere. What kind of... Why do I bother asking? You're not going to tell me. When the time is right, I'll be in touch. I'll contact you later. In the meantime, should you need to return to Shadow Karja territory, I brought armor to conceal your identity. You think of everything, don't you? One of us has to. Aloy. Oh, man. When you were recovering the Alpha Registry down in the Zero Dawn bunker, I was needlessly cruel. For your sake, I hope there is someone waiting there for you inside the mountain. Not a what, but a who. Yeah! Imagine if the doctor is still alive. Okay. Four thousand... ...away. <laughs> Okay, any more dialogue? That should be it. Let me see, before before we get off, let me see. Let me see if there's anything crazy happening at the gates. He's on fire. The sentinels have time to run the track.
There we go. This is Hades' future. Metal and ash. Okay. 